you're live on YouTube, and uh, we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, and we are live on Twitch, and we're live on LinkedIn Live. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scotty McClure for you saying a dinky do. If you've just joined us on the TikTok, then a very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. Just tremendous stuff. Now then, propagator, what on earth kind of question is that? We're talking about human beings. So your question should be opinions on human beings. That's what we like. Fantastic. Now, we'll just see who's about, of course, on the telephones. Always good to find out about that as well and get ourselves fully connected so that we can find out what is happening. There we go. We're live on the phones. Good evening. You're live on Scotty McClure's phone in. Who's that? I think you do, Scotty. I think you do, Kabeem. I'm lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Hi, Scotty. How are we? <laughs> hey, we're, we're amazing. We had, uh, again, a little bit of technical trouble there, so that's why we were a minute or two late. Oh, do you think it could be the increase of people coming to Glasgow, you know, just overwhelmed? I don't know what it is. It was just going, uh, connecting, connecting, you know, you need to contact your assistant, all that sort of stuff, and then we just tried it again, and here we are. So we'll not, we'll not dwell on that. <laughs> The first thing, I've got a few things to speak about tonight, Scotty. Yes. So I, I won't be prepared. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I'll do my best. That's all I can say to you. Fantastic stuff. Lovely to be with you. Excellent. The first one, Scotty, is what I would like to say on, on a serious note is to put my condolences over to Walter Smith and his family. He was the former Rangers manager and Scotland manager and they paid excellent tribute to him on the radio as a father, a grandfather and Scotland's uh, basically national coach. A wonderful, uh, wonderful so man, Kareem. Thank you very much for bringing that up because I was much saddened to hear of Walter's passing, but I know that he hadn't been well and um, I'm so uh, sort of uh, what can I say? It's it's such a relief that he's not going to be in pain. Uh -huh. You yeah. know, a wonderful, I, I wonderful a man. I'm a Celtic supporter, but I do feel during that time that you put uh, any any well, the fans should be putting all their hatred and bigotry to the side and to show respect because he he, said he was an outstanding Rangers coach and he was an excellent Scotland manager um, and it's somebody's life that sadly been lost um, but my condolences and um, we should uh, appreciate what he has done for Scotland. Kareem, that is so lovely of you to say that, especially as a Celtic supporter as well. It's so much appreciated, um, you know, just wow. leading the way in that direction because he was a football man. And he brought, yes. uh, you know, so much to competitive football in Scotland and, of course, all over the country and all over the world. Yes. Well, interesting hearing, like, ex-footballers talking, and it's like teaching, Scotty, and everything that they've said is that when you spoke to him, he didn't clash you, he didn't look down at you, and whoever you are, he made you feel welcomed and appreciated. And that, to me... I mean, you spoke before, Scotty, of a teacher that was outstanding. You know, that's what a teacher does. That's what a coach, that's what a leader does. That it can lift people up and to inspire them. And that's what that man done. That he, he did indeed. And uh, Walter, of course, was uh, very much to the fore when I was at Scott FM. And my agent uh, at the time was Bill McMurdo, who had been George Best's agent. Right. You know, and, right. and, and they were great friends, uh, you know. Oh, goodness sakes. Um, I just thought I would start that off just to, you know. Kareem, that's, that's, that's wonderful. Course. That's exactly the way tonight should have started off. And had you not raised it, then I would most certainly have raised it. And condolences to Walter's yeah. uh, wife and family. And, um, yes. you know, I mean, just thinking of that marvellous man and all the celebration and all the sort of sense of order that 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 was around him. He always struck me as somebody that was incredibly well organised, you know? Well, I remember an image 
And I found I found at the time, Scott, it was such a powerful image, and especially that you know, within the west of Scotland and the bigotry that we have, sadly still to this day in our great city, that we when Tommy Burns passed away. Now his daughter was in my year group at school, um, but when I felt quite upset, obviously when he passed away, was something that I thought was such a strong unity was that uh, Walter Smith and Alan McCoy's. Hello, Kareem. Hello, Kareem. Hello. Hello, Kareem. Hello. We seem to have lost Kareem there. Maybe he'll give us a wee call back, actually. Uh, just mid-flow. Don't know what happened there, Kareem, but we lost your mid-flow. But do feel free to give us a call back. It would be uh, good to hear from you. Thank you very much. Lots and lots of... Uh, we'll see if this is Kareem back again. Hello, Kareem. Hello, Kareem. Hi, Scotty. Yes. Hi, Kareem. Yeah. I think I don't, it caught out there. <laughs> don't know what happened anyway. You're back with us, which is lovely. Sorry you were saying. Did they, I got to the bit about they were in the, the mass. Did you hear that section? No, no, go on, go on. So I, I, I was saying that I remember a story, and it was about Tommy Burns, and he was the, the Celtic manager, and his daughter was in my year group at school. So when he passed away with... I mean, the school it hits the St. Ninian's really hard. But something that I found that was so powerful at the time was that despite the, the hatred in the city against the both sides, Walter Smith and Alan McCoy went to his funeral. Yes. And the priest it showed in the news, the priest commented on it, saying that that was such unity and it was it sent a powerful image. And I found that... I. From being a young boy at that time, that still sticks into my mind. Something that he showed and was leading the way that, no, no, football is football and all the stuff that goes with it, put that to the side. You know, um, a man's passed away and they worked all three of them worked together as in and when they were coached in Scotland. So there was unity. And sadly to say, two out of three of them have now passed away. Absolutely. And an another great legend uh, that I loved meeting was Billy McNeil. Uh -huh, yes. You know, and, and, and he yeah. was just another amazing man. I didn't get to meet Jock Steen, uh, you know, but I can remember the night that Jock passed away and it was just, it was just a huge tragedy. Yeah, yeah. shock over the city. Just, just yeah. an absolute shock. And I think losing Walter, it's, it's yeah. just like that, you know, he's such a legend. Yeah. And when you saw him with Graham Sunes tonight as a young man, yeah. you know, it's, um, certainly, I know I did use some of his quotes, etc. When I was learning, when I was doing sports coaching, and when I was, you know, doing certain teaching elements, and you know, he was he was a good man, um, and it's it's a great loss to the city. Um, my second point, Scotty, uh, very quickly. Sorry, it was last night you had a caller. Yes, and they were Se talking several callers. Yeah, we had quite a lot of callers, but I think you'll probably be listening now. Uh, it's not an attack. It's that I think pro nowadays we have in society, if you don't agree with me, I'm going to hate you. That shouldn't be the case. We should be able to still disagree about something, but still be mature and still to get on. And it was one of your callers last night. It was about the about the independence and not agreeing with it. Yes. And I think he, he raised the comment that he feels that he has more in common with some a working man in Manchester and London than what he does in Europe. Have that, I picked that up correctly? That's right. You have picked it up correctly. You're quite correct. Uh, well, I think basically I, I have to disagree because at the end of the day, something that I think such a key point. I don't feel that I am the same as any working man down in Manchester or London because it's a different country. Scotland has its own culture and more importantly, which we're starting to lose just now in certain elements, it's identity. 
Um, so for me, when I go down to Kaleo, I don't, I feel that I'm in another country. When I go down to Blackfield, uh, Blackpool, sorry, I feel that I'm in another country. I respect that country. I love England. I love going down. Well, you see, the I'm truth sure. is, the truth is, Kareem, you are in another country. And where the misnomer is, if you listen to members of the present government, they talk about uh -huh. this country. Now, by this country, that's interpreted. Uh, you know, there are four countries, and I think that when we get the government talking about our four countries in our United Kingdom, then you're getting far more realism. They don't talk like that. They just say this country. People think that implies England, so they therefore switch off. You see, yeah. so so yeah. I think the government need to look at their terminology. I can remember even hearing the Prime Minister talking about the Scottish administration rather than the Scottish government. Now, I would imagine that that is deliberate. Yes. You see? And that's to do with power. That's yeah, well, well, uh, well, they're losing power by doing that. They would get far more respect by saying, we want to maintain our United Kingdom of our four countries, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, operating as one. But there's no point turning around and saying, I love this country in Westminster, because that's just going to mean England to everyone. Correct. Well, if you look at it, Scott, the majority of the MPs down there are from England. And is it gerrymongering that what's going to be happening? Gerrymandering. Gerrymandering. Yep. Yes, when you start Mandarin, losing sorry. seats. Yes, so I think two, it's going to affect two seats up here in Scotland. And I think I said before, ironically, it's Douglas Ross is going to be one of them. Uh, and I can't remember the other seat where it is in Scotland. Uh, and I think there's a few more down. I think it's eight in Wales. I'm not sure what it is in Northern Ireland. But to me, uh, what, what I was thinking about last night when I was listening to that, Scotty, if you look at Cali and Dover, they're not very far from each other. You know, is it separated by 18 miles? Absolutely. It's, it's not far at all. That's like from Glasgow to Kilmarnock. Yes. To drive, it's a 20 minute drive. You know? Yes. But it's totally different countries, um, different cultures. And it went back again, it's about identity. But I, I mean, I respect the fact, and I do respect people who support the union and want to be part of the union. And, you know, I, I'm not going to change people's minds. There's certain people you will not change their mind regardless of whatever happens. No, even by giving them the facts, you can't change their mind because their head is stuffed with nonsense. And you're so right. We do need to actually get rid of hatred. You know, just hatred itself. Get rid of it. I, I, I say to people, never, ever hate because you're shutting off an avenue of learning. I, I say hatred requires too much effort and it's not worth that. So, no, and exactly. no, it's a, it's a very, very, very useless uh, style and emotion. Yeah. Very I'm useless, a very title. useless concept. I'm getting a guy here yeah. called Shijon and Shijon yeah. says there's no UK, the UK equals England and he says he hates the Tories. Well, Shijon, you need to drop that and you need to find out if you disagree with the Tories, then you need to put your disagreement, but not your hatred. Yeah, yeah. I don't agree with a lot of the Tory policies, but I would say I, I, I you can't hate anybody. You know, you don't. You know, you can't. Well, it's just it's just useless, and it just causes a lot of unhappiness. Yes. You know, I mean, I don't dislike the Brexiteers, but I know that they have brought us to an impasse. Correct, yes. yes. You know, um, and I certainly don't hate them. It. They'll be feeling it as well, Scotty. Oh, yes. Whether they like to admit it or not. Well, they we've got a budget it. tomorrow. Now they're talking about, you know, what the pandemic's cost us. I'll bet you nobody mentions the 250 billion quid squandered through uh -huh. Brexit for no reason. Yeah, but that would be up to effective opposition to raise that at Westminster. Um, Keir Starmer to, to put, put that across, but he won't. I don't think he'll do that as well. Um, however, my last point, Scott, because I know time's ticking, yes. and this might be one to open to everybody, which I was reading and thinking. We have the Scottish wildcat. Now, I'm a dog lover, as you know, but up north, 
uh, out Avi Murray, etc. They've got the, the Scottish Wildcat, which they're trying so hard to populate. However, it keeps coming up. I'm against this, but some people might be for it. They're talking about they want to introduce, or should they, I should say, introduce links back into Scotland, up north, to kill the overpopulated deer. Uh, what would be your views or anybody listening? Well, uh, deer, the deer do have to get culled because otherwise their numbers would overrun. Now, it's tragic, but they are beautiful animals, and we can eat venison. So, you know, properly uh, uh, farmed deer and good husbandry, animal husbandry, uh, from that point of view, the lynx would deal with them. But the lynx uh, would also, I would think, be quite a dangerous animal. You see, until 1909, we had wolves in Scotland. The last wolf was was shot um, up in the Highlands in 1909. Right, 1909, right, okay. So you see, wow. my grandfather would be, uh, when, when, when that happened, my grandfather would be 28. Right, okay, young man. So right. he would remember wolves in Scotland. That's amazing. It's very no, interesting. Grown up with that. And Kareem, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going, to, I'm not going to keep you, but I don't know if you've ever heard my story about um, an, an old gentleman that I knew, who wrote to an old gentleman whose grandfather was friendly with Bonnie Prince Charlie. I don't think so. I don't think I have. Bonnie Prince Charlie died in 1786. He, he lived in Rome. He had uh, taken to the bottle, sadly, and he was a poor old soul. I used to see him going around Rome. And this old gentleman that I knew wrote to an old Scottish aristocrat who, uh, whose grandfather knew him. Isn't that incredible? Wow. So I wow. knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy who knew Bonnie Prince Charlie. It sounds like that thing from Fife. I ken a guy, I ken a guy. I, I ken a guy, I <laughs> ken's a boy, I ken's a boy. <laughs> You know, that sort of idea. So there we are. Here's uh, here's Sean. He's saying, my name is Sean, Shijon. So uh, he says, wolves should probably not be reintroduced. Yes. Well, Lynx, I, before I go, Scotty, I don't think it should be introduced because I think at the end of the day, there's too many people that go camping and we don't have guns like they do in these other countries no. to protect themselves. If we have children or toddlers what is, and if they get attacked, you know, I, I think there's, there's other ways around this, but I do know that there is groups trying their, their hardest to get links introduced again. And for me personally, there was a petition quite a while ago. I was against it and I signed it. I, I did not want want that to be introduced or to, uh, you know. Well, of course, know. they've reintroduced the beaver and, um, the, you know, it's very, very mixed feelings with the farmers. You know, it started off, they were saying, oh, isn't it lovely? Look, the, the beavers have gnawed the branches there and gnawed the branches there. And then the next thing is trees were coming down and banks were caving in, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just goes on. So it does, it does need a bit of thought. I don't know if you saw David Attenborough tonight at 95. I haven't, no, sorry. Just an incredible guy, you know. And, of course, he's very big. If we don't sort things out in the planet now, It'll be too late. So we'll see what the cop brings us. Yes, well, apart from busy traffic and a headache, but yes, with, with a long-term plan, hopefully, and it will start after the two weeks. I uploaded uh, I you. uploaded your call from last night, so you'll be able to hear that as well. Ah, thanks, Scotty. Listen, thank you, do. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you, do. you, tomorrow. All the best, Karim <laughs> Tarala. Bye -bye. Fantastic. Now, there we are. A lot of comments coming in for Walter Smith, who has sadly passed away, Walter Smith of Rangers. So there we go. What have we got here? Um, yes, hello, Scotty, from the United States Marine Corps. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. R.I.P. Walter Smith. Who have we got here? You live with Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Hello. Hi, Scott. Hey, Glenn. Dinky do, la. Dinky do, Scott. How are you uh, tonight? 
I'm doing well yourself. Yeah, excellent. We're we're just, huge. We're huge on TikTok, and uh, we're I, huge on YouTube. Subscribe and tap the bell, everybody. I, 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 I can't I understand why people are so slow and lazy about subscribing on YouTube. No, oh, Scotty, it's not hard to click on the button. Is yeah, it? no, it's not hard to click subscribe. It doesn't cost oh. anything. And uh, I've I noticed just, sometimes after the shows, one or two subscribers. It's all there, Scotty, at times. You know, now, now the, you know, every day should be subscribing to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel because that's where you'll get the internet phone in. So, uh, yes. I just want to put a big shout out to uh, uh, Walter Smith's uh, passing, Scotty. Yes, Great thank manager. you very much for that, Glenn. Fantastic manager. Absolutely brilliant, fantastic. Excellent. And uh, yeah. condolences to the family, of course. A lot of yeah, reaction yeah, yeah, on the TikTok. Mm. He put a lot out there in, in the football world, Scotty Walter. Yes, yeah. he did. Definitely. He did. A great I mean, figure and, and a terrific style with him. A very, very nice style. Rangers dominated Scottish football for years, didn't they, when Walter was oh, in yes. charge? Walter Smith were in charge for it. Yes, absolutely. Time. I mean, we've got here, rest easy, Walter Smith. A true Scottish yeah. football hero. And then yeah, there was probably, another yeah. lovely one, Glenn. Wait till I get you this one. Um, yeah. Walter and Ali McCoy were actually pallbearers at Tommy's funeral. There we are, says yeah, Betty Tommy, Jo, Tommy, Tommy Bunn's yeah. funeral. And guys, yeah. thanks for sending all these beautiful gifts. Um, what have we got here? Just bear with me. R.I.P. Yeah. to Walter Smith. There were Walter actually managed Gascoigne at one point for Rangers, didn't he, Sky? Ah, Gaza. right, right, yes, amazing, fantastic when stuff. Kept, when Gaza went to Scotland and Paul Gascoigne at best of times, he's not the easiest character to manage. What about this one, Glenn? God bless Walter Smith. This is from Gordy W. From all of us across the TikTok family, blue and green. Regardless, exactly regardless of what team you support, north of the border or wherever, you've just got to admire the guy. Yeah, absolutely. You're 100% correct. You, you've had a lot of good Scottish managers like Gordon Strachan and Alex McLeish. Yes. Obviously, Tommy Burns, rest in peace as well. Yeah, and what about going way back? What about uh, Bill Shankly? What about Sir Alf Ramsey? Obviously, Sir Alex. Uh, sorry, Sir, 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 Sir Matt Busby. Yeah, he was Scottish, weren't he? Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, absolutely. I mean, tremendous. David Murray's. Yeah, David Murray as well. Out. Yep, absolutely. The owner yeah. of Rangers, yep. Craig Levine. Scotty, I'm boring you now, are No, no, you certainly are not. I've just had up yeah. the gunners here from Angela. <laughs> No, like I said, no self divide, whatever it is, you've still got to play it for what it is. Yeah, good for you, Glenn. Very much appreciated. So, uh, the show's really ticking on now, isn't it, Scotty? It's kicking in big it's style now. It's lovely. It's These not, super not calls enough, last night. There's not enough time for an hour, is there? No, that's the problem. The hour just flew yeah. by last night. It's like, it's tonight, eh? It's I can't believe it's, it's twenty five plus nine already. Yeah, yeah, and we've we've been up then, for you know we've been up for twenty five minutes. Were they one or two uh, skeletons at Gremlins again tonight? Yeah, we had a little Gremlin at the start. It wouldn't start. It just cut out on me. Yeah, you know. So I just I just pressed on and clicked everything again, and up we pop. You know. Like you said, you're going to get that, aren't you? Of course you're going to get because if you think about it, let me take you right back to basics. I used to broadcast to other radio stations using ISDN lines, digital network, yeah. right? And it was a superb thing. You could actually have been in the radio station. Now, yeah. uh, and you could go all over the world with this setup. You know, you had to have that put into your house. Now, somebody said, I'm sorry, but VOIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, isn't quite right. there yet. This is years ago. And they said, and I don't think you'll ever get the internet delivering the way we deliver at the moment. And, of course, it's doing yeah. it right now. I mean, when, when, you, when, when you were working on radio, when you were doing radio back in there, yep. we sounded old now when we were saying this, aren't we? We sound so old, Skyrim, back in there and all that. Back in there? When you were doing radio, 
when you were doing radio back in there though, you were like, we phoned up you and a lot of people expected you to phone them back. Yeah, it was crystal clear. That's right. They used to say, well, you see, they'd been used to phone-ins that weren't that busy. So they'd been used to phone-ins where they'd ring them up and go, can you ring us back? Bye. You see, and all that yeah. stuff. Now, when they came to mine, we said, no, if you want to talk to Scotty McClue, you stay on that line. Otherwise, you won't get a chance. You won't get a look in. You're going to go back to back at you again. Yeah, absolutely. And they realized that and they thought, no, I'm staying on. I think... Um... Glenn, do you not remember best call ever when a guy phoned up and I said, how are you tonight, Brian? He went, angry, very angry. I said, what are you angry about, Brian? He went, you, you. He said, two hours, two hours I've been waiting. I said, right, I won't keep you a second longer and cut him off. <laughs> you were asking for that guy. They were shouting and bawling like that. Do you know what I mean? He left you open there. And he would not have got on perhaps for another week. Straight into back at net. Right into back at net with that nonsense, you know. Up. They left it up and go there for you, didn't they? And when people oh, used God. to ring, they go, I don't like you. I would say, Well, that's fine, don't listen, not a problem. I don't phone there. And they couldn't they couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe how was this guy? And they used to say, I'll uh, uh you lose all your listeners, you know, you'll lose the lot. I thought, No, we won't. You're listening to, <laughs> you're listening to that, you defeated object to Call well, they they were actually listening, and we used to say to them just by way of a laugh, they'd say, "What's the number in the back of your radio? I'm going to cancel it." <laughs> there you go. You're officially banned from listening to Scotty McClue. <laughs> go flush your head down your backside and blow your nose. Till the that's right. Away. Absolutely. Don't try that at home now. That's for exactly. entertainment purposes only. Can you imagine if they did? Oh, gee, you don't want that. <laughs> And you then somebody went there that's had a few shared cherries or something that's got it, to be honest to you. <laughs> you don't want that again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss them days then, Scott? Uh, well, yes, but I'm also so chuffed with the way this show's going. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And once word gets out, you see, as I said to you the other night, I don't have a budget for advertising yeah. it, so it's just by word of mouth. So you guys have got to do your stuff. But once one gets out, there's a phone in on the internet yeah. and you just pick up phone, they'll be there. So, uh, on radio, you had a budget then, Scott. What's that, La? Did you have a budget on radio then? Oh, well, uh, well, no, the radio stations, they sorted all that. We used to be on yeah. all them big hoardings round about Sheffield. We used to be yeah. in the back of the buses. Definitely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Tune in to Scotty McClue, Hallam FM. Magic, yeah. You've got, you've got to go at times, haven't you? Yeah, you you've got to go at times. But I was talking to a guy recently and I said, if I have some money, I said I wouldn't mind putting a little bit of, um, uh, you know, money into advertising in one of the main streets in Glasgow. He said, yeah. forget that. He said, you're national now, international, you're global. He said, you know, streets and cities, they don't matter. Definitely that. And he's 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 actually right because I mean we've got people in America, in Russia, China, Japan. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. That's there's been a bit of the uh, there's uh, they haven't been as advanced. We've they had the luxury to have you on the radio, <coughs> but now now you've come to the internet, they're catching up on lost time, aren't they? Hey, Glenn, they are indeed. Here's a butte from Kalelio. Nobody shouts at the floor tie except Numpty Head on a Friday. <laughs> David and all them are great. Kareem's a brilliant caller. They're good Kareem calls. Them, yeah. They're good calls, that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you should I mean, get some uh, car window stickers, Scotty, says Beachy Beachy. Yeah, definitely. You know, get on the motor get cars. Get, get them all going. I listened to Scotty McClure yeah. on the internet phone in. There's millions of people all over the country that's heard you, Scotty. Yeah, oh, I absolutely. It's apparently, millions. two billion people across the world. It definitely, exactly. You know, I, 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 I love that. It's, it's, it's a credit to you, isn't it? That's, what, that's all it is. Well, I don't know about a credit to me. It's a credit to you guys for finding us. Yeah. 
you know, I mean, that's where the real strength lies in the people that over the years, you know, we built up a relationship, whether you were just listening, whether you were listening and phoning, whether you were just phoning, yeah. you know? The cheeky chapter back in the 90s, got to learn it. Yeah, yeah. And do you remember when they were all recording on tapes, we used to belch on the tape? Definitely got there. <laughs> oh, but that was just... Entertainment at its best, weren't it? Bit, bit of nonsense. Well, what we did, Glenn, was use radio to its real advantage. Uh, do you know what I mean? Every, every yeah. lovely little bit of sound effects, the lot. Do you remember Whip the Wizard? I, I do, yeah. Do you know, I don't know if you'd be allowed to do it nowadays, but it was such uh, a laugh. Not a lot. So you can't help to do things these days. It's just... It's such a shame, but I mean, it was such fun, you know. If we got a name wrong, we'd say, "Oh, lovey, we'll have to whip the wizard." Remember? Yes, that's Scotty McLuhan. Uh... Right, wizard, in you come. <laughs> yeah. This is going to hurt me more that. than it's going to hurt you, wizard. <laughs> you still speak to wizard, then, Scott? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm still in touch on Facebook with my original wizard yeah. thirty years ago. Nice one. You know. I think he, I think he's something like seventy-two now. You know what I mean? Oh, credit! Great, great guy. He was the one that said one night. He said, "We've got so many calls. Can we get through them a bit quicker?" I went, "No." Yeah. <laughs> what were longest calls? What you had then, Scott? Oh, sometimes we had quite long calls these nights. Uh, a lot of short ones. A lot of yeah. just a few seconds. A lot of a minute or two, uh, you know, stuff. But sometimes, and the, the nation understood this, if you had a really, really important call, either a very serious situation you were trying to sort out, they didn't mind if they were on for half an hour. You could empathize with a lot of them, could Yeah, yeah, they had a real problem, and we'd, and we'd, tr we'd try and sort it for them. You've got to see it from both angles, aren't you? Often yeah. When you're on radio, I think. Yeah, you've got well, you've got to see it from all angles, really. But I mean, Definitely, somebody yeah. said to me, "Do you do the talk show?" I said, "No, I actually do the listening show." Yeah, none of this rehearsed. It's all none of it's scripted. It's all well. This is it. You see, <laughs> we used to laugh. People say you must do a lot of preparation for that. I said, "I don't do any." I said, "Because I don't know what's coming." You don't, do you? No, and and that's the beauty about it, Glenn. Why should yeah. it matter? Do you know what I mean? That's why people tune in. That's why one guy once said to me, yeah, but come on, it's it's a bit the same every night. I said, no, it's not. I said, there's never yeah, two no. nights the same. Precisely. Never two nights the I same. If you would have gone on Britain's Got Talent, all them judges would have been like... Uh... You'd have, you'd, been, you'd have been straight through to the last stage. Straight through to the last stage, just at the time, all yeah. the nonsense. Do a little bit of tap dancing and a bit of comedy. Well, you know, I used to do, I, I was a top tap dance until my accident. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I fell into sink. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> anyway, my love, I'll have to dash off. You stay okay. fabulous uh, and uh, we'll on. catch up soon. Okay. These phone calls will cost a fortune, won't they? Yeah, absolutely. I don't. I, I won't hear a peep from you once your bill comes in. <laughs> Lo <laughs> love you lots. Night, night, la. Love you, Sky. Take care. Water. See you, Glenn. Dinky do, la. What a top man. Right to the telephones. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Oh, this is Derek here. Derek, how are you? Oh, very well. How we, are you? Well, we haven't heard from you for weeks. We were beginning to worry. Oh, well, I was just wondering if we, if you were talking about Scotland and United Kingdom. Yep. And I was thinking about bringing up the subject again of having a statue of Margaret Thatcher in Scotland. That will do it. That will unite everybody. You think that will bring everybody together if we if we got a proper statue of Margaret Thatcher? And do you think the Scots would subscribe to it? I think they will pay for it. Can you ask everybody out there tonight? I think they would they would contribute and pay for it. Right. Derek from London wants to know if the Scots would contribute to a, a life-size statue of Margaret Thatcher in George Square in Glasgow. Yeah. All right, Derek La, I shall put it to the nation. Uh, Dinky-doo. 
Right, as soon as you can, see if you can answer Derek, guys. That would be amazing. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Right, non-verbal call. No problem at all. Uh, there we go. Here we go. World record for radio calls in one week. Hashtag flow tie. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scott. Hello. Hi, Scotty. It's, uh, my name is Pastor David Hamilton. Lovely to have you with us, David. Welcome, welcome. Hi. A, a, a statue of uh, <laughs> Orchid Thatcher and all my... I think that bloody gives his head a wobble. Well, he's, uh, he needs to give his head a wobble. He's from London, and he feels that to unite <laughs> Scotland, we need us to to collect money from the Scottish people. In fact, maybe maybe the people of Northern Ireland would want to contribute. Scotty, I don't think they would, boss. <laughs> but, you know, do you think? Do, do you think we're on a on a lee shore there, David? No, just need to put him on a short leash, Scotty. Put him on a short leash, David. It's lovely to have you with us. By the way, Scotty, 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 listen, listen, listen. Go on. Uh, Hey, uh, I've got cauliflower ears. Right. Cauliflower. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You know that fight when I was a young buck? Cauliflower ears. Cauliflower ears, we love it. Yeah, I used to play a bit of rugby before I spent 12 years at Her Majesty's Pleasure. Right, do you remember we used to say to people, you'll end up with a cauliflower ear if you go on like that? That's right, Scotty, that's right. And, you know, uh, as you know, my man of God, man, I'm my pastor. Fantastic. The point, my man used to come into the into the cell, and when we were used to run out of cigarette paper, Scotty, we used the Bible. Wow, yes, I'd heard about that, and it caused a bit right. of controversy. I did, Scotty. I used to say that well, I smoked Matthew Martin and John, you know, so uh, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> I was a good time, Scotty, though, I have to say. Uh, Hey, can I just echo up on this then now? Uh, Scotty, I've been listening to you for donkey's years, my man. Fantastic. I just want to say, I just want to, I just want to echo Kareem and the other chap, and Walter Smith, you know, uh, 21, 21 domestic cups uh, at his two spells at Rangers. That's incredible, isn't it? It is indeed, absolutely. And God well, bless you, Pastor. Lovely to hear from you. Well, uh, Scotty, when I'm down here in Manchester, I, I would sort of, Walter Smith and, uh, I would put him in the, him and Sir Alex are in the same sort of in the same sort of league, aren't they? Ab Sir Alex Ferguson. Absolutely. And, and it's no coincidence, Scotty, that they're both Scottish men like my old mother, you know, so it's uh, as, and as yeah, you know, uh, I was in Manchester when Sir Alex when man you won everything and they were right Scotty, behind me outside I the window. So Scotty, when you left down in Eccles way, I met you twice. Ah twice, Scotty. Fantastic. Uh, and uh, I, I probably tried to preach to you, Scotty, but sure, that's just the way it is, isn't it? Well, good. Well, we, <laughs> we don't mind that at all. No, but Scotty, I just want to say, so here, this is, do, you know, do you know what I'm really calling for, Scotty? Go on, sir. I was, all, I, was, I was flicking through my iPad earlier today, and I noticed that the BBC are uh, doing a, a mini uh, sort of, uh, a mini series about Sir Jimmy Savile. Well, to say, sir, I don't have dropped the sir about Jimmy Savile. And uh, your man, Steve Coogan's playing it. And uh, boy, oh boy, when I read through it, I was at about six, Scotty. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's an, I saw an article about that the other day. Anyway, least said, easy as mended. Good to hear you, uh, boss. Yes, that's, that's true, Scotty. Yes, yes. As they say, uh, the, less, the less you say, the easier it is to fix. But I just. I seen that story and I thought, my goodness, why? But what, what's the word coming to? What? It's almost like that corporation are cashing in on someone to protect it. But sure, I'm saying no more about that. Say no more about that. But listen, uh, lovely to hear from you. And dinky do. I think you do, Scotty. Top yeah. man, I will hear from you God again. Save the queen, God yeah, save the God queen and the God bless you, Pastor. Absolutely, sir. There we are. What an amazing call. Incredible. Right, uh, what do we got here? Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue. What's the badge in the hat? That's the Scotty McClue Dinky Doo badge. Can you see it? Let me see if you've got it the right way around. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube the right way around. Let me just see what's happening here and we'll get this for you. 
I can tell you. Now then, there's Colino. You live with Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Oh, Scotty. Thomas from Glasgow. Thomas from Glasgow. Lovely to hear you, Thomas. Dinky do. Just wanted to pay my respects to Walter Smith's family. Thank you for that, Thomas. It's very much appreciated. And also, we want a, a statue of you in Georgie Square. Scotty McLean, Georgia Square, instead of Margaret Thatcher. Yes. Yeah, I, I listen, I'll go along with that one. Just to let you know, thank you, dude. You're, you're fabulous. Thomas, I want it while I'm alive, though. <laughs> 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 so I could go and see it. <laughs> well, I'll be good to have your statue in, in, in Georgia Square. In fact, if they put a statue of Scotty McClure in George Square, I'll open it for them. <laughs> Dinky do, Lala. Fantastic. Top, top man, Thomas. Wonderful stuff. Right, to the telephones, guys. We're very, very busy tonight, but we can always squeeze in a small one, as the missus never tires of telling us. Right. You're live on Scotty's phone end. Who's that? Hi, Scotty's name. Oh, Glenn, right, top man. Scotty and Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure he's just pulling somebody from back in there. Do you think he's working us from the back? Jinky was Jinky yeah. was uh, chugging my chain. Definitely, yeah. Uh, somebody's just <laughs> said, I think you would win with a tune on the box, Scotty. Scotty, she, she might have done one or two good things here and there, but... Well, I don't think there. the South Yorkshire people would agree, do you? No, it's, it is what it is in every regard. You know... She's a human. She was a human being that ended. We'll just leave it at that way, aren't we? Yeah, I'm afraid I can't do any hatred. We don't do it. Do you know what I mean? But she didn't really. She didn't really help the miners all that much, did she? Definitely not. No, she were out for all she could get. Really, you know. She, you know, when I think of Elsie Carr and Grime Thorpe and all the pits yeah. down there, you know what I mean? She was me, 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 weren't she? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, you know, I mean, she, know, yeah. she didn't know the people. I mean, I couldn't have done it to the people. I would have, I've had to go and talk to them, and I wouldn't have been sending in horses. Definitely not. Do you know what I mean? I would have gone and talked yeah. to the boys. Can I tell you, going right back, Glenn, now, you know, we talk about Wentworth Woodhouse. Yeah. Now, Wentworth Woodhouse, perhaps the biggest country house in Europe, owned mm -hmm. by the Fitzwilliams, that owned virtually yeah. all the mines in South Yorkshire on the Barnsley Seam, right? right? And yeah. before Vesting Day in 1948. Now, yeah. after First World War, this tells you about yeah. miners. After First World War, Field Marshal Haig was speaking on the balcony at Wentworth House. Right. And the, uh, the police and the army said they would come in to guard the house against in case the miners cut up rough yeah all the miners appeared in their hundreds probably their thousands and they yeah. wanted to hear errol haig speak William. and billy fitz billy yeah yeah billy fitzwilliam who died in 1943 he yeah. he um and and his, his sister was lady mabel who stayed out out at Barnes Hall? Okay. Yeah, yeah Lady Mabel, the Ma Lady Mabel College. Yeah. Right. And uh, his sister was Lady Mabel, and the the Fitzwilliams were so popular because they really looked after the miners. Yeah, the miners were really proud people, weren't they? They were very very proud people, and they loved the yeah. Fitzwilliams. And do you know that any miner could go up to the door of the big house, knock the door, and ask if he could have a word with his lordship? Nice now, in those days, that would be unheard of. Yeah. And Billy would come down and have a chat with him about anything yeah. because he was also a trained mining engineer. So he communicated with the Commonwealth. Oh, then, absolutely. Yeah. Big star. And his yeah. son, who sadly was killed in an accident in 1948, along with John F. Kennedy's sister. Yeah. yeah. Who was the widow of the Marcus of Hartington at... Uh, uh, at the big house that cat at um, uh, 
you, oh, the big house in Derbyshire, Chatsworth. Chatsworth House, yeah. Chatsworth House. And, uh, and yeah. she, John F. Kennedy's sister, was married to the Marquess of Hartington, who was heir to the Dukedom of Devonshire. And they, they were killed in a plane crash. They were going on a weekend um, to, yeah. to Paris. They were killed in a plane crash. And uh, his, his son, very, very popular man. Yeah. Do you know? And, I, think and, I, think, I think that's what's missing, though, in it, with, uh, with it, the way it is these days. They don't communicate with... Well, I think that's Yorkshire for you. I think no matter how poor you are or how rich you are, you can still have a chat. Yeah, but, you know, like the so-called higher class, though, they don't tend to communicate as well with... Not nowadays, so, not to the same extent, you know. It. Yeah, and I mean, people, the miners, used to use the gardens of the great house as a playground. We all bleed the same. We all do whatever, don't we? And that's we what it's to do, and Glenn. And, and that's that's that end of the day. you know that's why I I I loved I loved South Yorkshire so much. Just great people. Dance, dance, with folk and all that, and just say it how it is. Yeah, of course they say how it is. And they will not put up with duff food. I told you that. You go into the chimney, you go, can you change them uh, chips, love? They're a little bit soggy, then. Yeah, we don't want to put some scraps on and all yeah, that. Yeah, I'll stick a few scraps on as well, love. Definitely. They go, all right, well, I'll give you another half fish then. Sorry about that. But you so many fishes. Big sizes. <laughs> I used to buy, I used to buy fish supper on my way into work, and it was like a, it was like a whale. <laughs> Glenn, I'm going to have to dash, la. Scotch, they still put a decent size at even now. Oh, I, Oh, I. You know, very important. You know, I mean, plenty of food. I mean, so, um, there's, there's not many places, Yorkshire fish cakes, that you can't beat them, can you? Oh, yeah, you listen, there's a whole lunchtime in eating in them. The Yorkshire fish cake, scallops. If you're having a Yorkshire fish cake and a few chips for your lunch... You know, people yeah. are saying, right, come on, we've got to get back. And you go, well, hang on a minute. I'm just finishing my dinner. With chip butter and all that. <laughs> yeah. Chip butter, scotch and a nice bread cake. Or what about a bit of pork and crackling and applesauce? From that. On, a, on a massive balm cake. From that unknown sandwich shop, Scott. Ooh, lovely. Stop, yeah. stop. Yeah, You're making know. me hungry now. <laughs> You'll have to come back one of these days, Scott, away, yeah. I will do. Yeah, I will do. Definitely. Yeah, I just wish I had more than one life because I've so many things to do. Definitely, Scott. You, you're spreading the world across the internet anyway. So well, we're here. We're doing it, Glenn, and it's only going to get bigger. Nice one. Love you lots. Love you, Scott. Take it easy, big man. Dinky do, Lala. Dinky do, Scott. Dinky do. That's our Glenn. What a fine fellow from South Yorkshire, a big Hallam FM listener. R.I.P. Walter. Yes, indeed. Thank you, guys. Um, what have we got here? Absolutely not. They don't want the statue. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? All right, Scotty. It's uh, Edward. Edward. It's Edward. Hope you remember me, Scotty. Edward, tell me a tiny bit more. I'm, uh, my father was Edward Senior, remember? I've I, got I, Edward. I'm so glad you've rung me back because I remember when we came to the end of our call and I thought to myself, right. you, you sounded a tiny bit down and I thought, and you said, but we will speak again. I thought, of course. And I've been thinking a lot about what you said about the radio. Yes, Edward. Well, uh, well that's it. Well, Scotty, I've got a flight booked with uh, Virgin Atlantic. I'm going, uh, first, sorry, Virgin Galactic. I'm going on the space in February 2023. What a great I'm man going, you are. It's fantastic. Uh, well, well, Scotty, Scotty, well, Virgin Galactic, I'm not, I'm not only going to see for myself the curvature of the Earth, I'm going to, that's for my own pleasure, but it's for also, it's also to, 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 to debunk these boys who think the Earth's flat. You know, right, the, the flat earth guys. Well, as you know, I mean, I'm I'm with you because AM AM radio curvature of the earth. Absolutely, Scotty. Yes, yes, yes. You know, very, 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 very uh, important that. Uh well, yesterday, remember we said, Scotty, video killed the radio star. Never did. The radio star has never been dead, Scotty. No, and never will be. Never, never will be. Never will be. Fantastic. You know, 
you know, we're, we're VMS, VMS, SB, USB, you know, we've, we've carrier waves, we've all sorts of calling. And, you know, oh boy, when I listen to these fellas going on about the flat earth, I take some laugh at them, I really do. I'm not <laughs> No, listen, I I don't mind at all because I love quality debate and that for me is, you know, this is this is the real important thing. We have quality debate on here, Edward. Uh, well, you see, Scotty, I want to I want to say that on my own, you know, because you know you know that old saying, don't you? If you hear something enough, you maybe start believing it, don't you? Yes. And uh, well, I want to see for myself because, like I say. Uh, February 23, I've got it all booked up now with Virgin Galactic. And wow. Space and I'll, talk, I'll see the curvature of the Earth and, uh, and God bless all those people who think it's flat because even if you took photographs to tell you to Photoshop them, Scotty, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, yes, I mean, it, it could be absolutely anything. Although the internet does not like the doubters. I notice. Oh, if, no, no, no. no. You know, so so we have to be a little bit careful when we're on platforms about too much doubt about things. Well, you see, there's, there's doubt and then there's doubt. Uh, yeah. You see, Scotty, at the end of the, end of the day, uh, there's, there's, there's the people. People will doubt, but, you see, I found a lot of these boys who, uh, who would say they're flat or maybe not too well educated, Scotty, you know. Well, it, yes, but you see, it's so interesting because how come the oceans don't just empty? Oh, well, that's not, well, Scotty, that's an easy one. That's because there's a big layer of ice the whole way around the flat earth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I'd, uh, oh, boy, uh, just a baffles me, a baffles me, Scotty. But it's costing me a lot of money, but I'm going to be a boy. I'm just gonna well, no, listen, money. Edward, I mean, to be honest with you, um, if if just the way you were talking, I got a, a feeling, right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, and this is only purely me, but I'm actually a very sensitive guy, believe it or not. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I thought to myself, I think Edward is of a mind to use up some of the pennies. Uh, you're probably right there, Scotty. Does, and, does, uh, does that make sense? Uh, almost as a kind of, if you don't mind me saying, almost as a kind of compensation. No, and 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 there's not anything you can do about that. And uh, because no. when somebody passes away, particularly suddenly, um, as happened uh, with with your good self, um, there's a lot said that shouldn't have been said, and there's a lot unsaid that should have been said. And unfortunately, Scotty. there's nothing you can do about that. Well, well, you see, Scotty, people will say what people will say, not just the end of it. Yes, yeah, but I mean, what that. they say doesn't really matter. The most important thing is what you and him said. Well, I, I, my last conversation with him was, uh, it was uh, I, uh, I think I told him I loved him. And that was about it. I said, I love you, old man. And that was very rare, Scotty, you know. No, that's wonderful. You maybe had some kind of premonition. And I hope he said to you, no, I love you too, son. He didn't, Scotty. He didn't. No, it, no, no. That wasn't his sort. That wasn't his sort. That here. wasn't his style. Well, but that he, might have just been his generation. Well, sure, Scotty. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there have been many times we've been down in that, down there, at, uh, you know, uh, that, that, you know, down Carlingford Way, and he would do this and would do that. He was never there, Scotty. You know, he was... Carlingford Loch. No, and the other thing is, I suppose, I don't know about then, but nowadays, he would probably have been on his phone all day. Well, yeah. Scotty, uh, uh, I'll be honest, my, uh, my mother, my mother, you know, she practiced law, and uh, I'm sure, sure, since, since the old fella's gone, she's been, she's, she's been a nervous wreck, Scotty, she's had she all that she's had the top psychiatrist in the top the top uh, psychologist sure she can't get through to her she's the old lady the old lady doesn't do much now at all whatsoever she never she never leaves Bally Edmund Scotty you know, yeah so. yeah I know what you mean what I was going to say Edward uh, I mean I'm not going to uh, uh, put you on the spot at all but does Corby ring a bell with you all uh, right yeah so I had 
was funny. It was. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, I know it very, very well. It's a, it's it's a long story, yeah. and it's for one that that if you and I ever meet, we can swap we can swap tales. Yeah. But but. Well, can't, well, can't, can't, you got my number there. I think my number came through there, didn't it? Eh? Uh, yes, I think I think it probably will have yes, and yeah. ending in a five. It is. Uh, it's all the dates got these three. Yes, I'm out there as well. Yeah, that's you. That's you. That don't say any more. But uh, but no, what up, what I've got to tell you, Edward, and uh, and and you'll love this. Uh, do you remember a little pub called the Queen? Oh, <laughs> oh dear, dear. No. Oh, now, uh, yeah. do you remember in uh, the Queen there was a ship's wheel? Yes, buddy. Yes. That yes, was yes, that yes. was my ship's wheel. That was your ship's wheel, was it, Scotty? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I I got I got that I got that for the for for the guy at the Queen. Uh, Scotty, I tell you what, boy, you could you could sit there tonight and you could start writing the book. And, and you, you, you die writing it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I would. That's the problem. People say, oh, I'd love to hear your story. I'd love to hear all your stories, they say. To us. I say, no, you wouldn't. Because, you know, like, it, apparently if you went on to YouTube, it would take a thousand years. And I say, well, we need to start with the Scotty McClue channel then. Well, you see, the thing is, Scotty, I've seen all these people here on this Facebook. And this, uh, I'm on that Facebook anyway, but on this YouTube. A lot of these people look at you and think of a fellow at Pete Hat or a wee badge on top of the hat and think this this fellow here just likes talking to people. Whereas I know different, Scotty. I know I know who you are. I know you I know your whole your whole uh, resume, Scotty. You know the I know, stuff. I know the stuff, Scotty. I mean I you're sitting there, people might think to themselves, this boy's just on here having a bit of crack, but uh, Scotty McClue Scotty McClue's a very, very intelligent man. Well yeah. you you'll know what took me to uh, you'll know what took me to Corby. Oh, I, I, I do, Scotty. I do. Yes, I do indeed. But you know, hear the, 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 the say, Scotty, the, sometimes the less the less we say out here, oh yeah, the better. But you know, it's uh, here's here, here's the thing. Uh, well, Scotty, here, you know what? You know, I was talking to Father the other day, Scotty. I was talking to Father the other day, and he was telling me five G's, five G's, Bobby, five G's does this, five G's does that. You find your girl just a ski fast. I says to him, I says, well, what makes you think 5G does? What thing, what makes you think 5G is bad for you? He says, uh, oh, well, that's just, it's bad because it's, it's, it's microwaves. And I says, well, you tell, can you tell me a wee bit more about microwaves there, boss? I said, I'll stay here for five minutes and I'll listen to you. I, he didn't shut up, Scott. He didn't say another word. So, not, uh, not another, not another peep out of him. No, no, Scott, there wasn't another mute out of him. I said to him, it's you. I says, you know, it's usually sub 3.2 to 4.8, maybe even 4.9 gigahertz. I says, well, what does that mean to you? He says, uh, he says oh, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what that means to me. <laughs> and you'll know, you'll know, Edward, you'll know that the Earth has a heartbeat. The Earth has a heartbeat. The Earth has a heartbeat. You know, well, Scotty, I told you that. Moon bounced. I don't know it's moon bounced. And uh, here's the thing, Scotty. Uh, people, people, and uh, and well, people. My man knocked about with my dad and things like that. Well, think maybe young, 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 uh, young, young Edward there is maybe not such, not maybe such a way. I was, I just call him a. I'm a committed by believing Christian. You know, I, I go to my church and that. Oh, no, I, listen, uh, Edward, you are the full bit. You're a man who has put a lot uh, of thought into things and has had a lot to deal with. You know, well, and, and that's not for the faint-hearted. And you've come out the other side, you know, absolutely the clean uh, potato. Well, Scotty, I, I, I came away. I called you, and I came away from the majority of what was going on down there in Bally Edmund and up in Card Island. That, and uh, I just, I want to be honest. I mean, you know yourself what the, the financial situation was, but I, I was there. Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, Scotty. That doesn't that doesn't that doesn't interest me. That's not interest. what runs. That's not what runs uh, you at all. Because Edward, uh, I know I've got uh, I've got many many uh, friends uh, all over the place, as you know, with castles, uh, country houses, that stuff. I wouldn't yeah. thank you for it, and I can see a situation when somebody's left some of these big country. You look after so and so, and you look after the, and you think. 
this is not what I want to do with my life. No, absolutely not, Scotty. Well, sure, I'll tell you a story. You might, you might know this, but you know that wall along the Ross Traver Road there? Mm. Outside, probably about outside Valley and McCastle. Mm. Sure, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say this, I don't care who hears it. I'm fella, I'm fella, had a serious, serious amount of money and backhanders to get that wall up. And places that wall 13 or 14 foot high. Yeah. And it shouldn't be. Absolutely. Well, listen. Well, we'll not go into all that uh, because there's 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 lots of yeah. ups and downs and pros and cons, as they say. But uh, you know, I think what comes across from you, what comes across from you, Edward, is terrific integrity, and I love that. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Scotty. And uh, as I say, though, I mean. And that's and that's hard one. Let's have it straight. That's pretty hard one. Uh, well, you see, some people maybe say you. You see, some people maybe say you've got all you you've gone with, with that old uh, silver spoon nope. in your mouth and all. Nope. Nothing to do with it. They don't understand what it's like. They don't, Scotty. They don't. Understand they don't understand what it's like, and also being told things. They go, "Listen, you'll get this when I'm finished with it. This is for you. Oh. I'm doing all of this for you." Well, she, she's got a, uh, when, you're, when your father's not home, in 1985 to 90% of the time when he's off business and this, that, and other, you don't really got a relationship with him, do you? Well, that's so, the thing. Uh, that's the thing. And I like, can remember, you'll love this one, Edward. You'll appreciate this. I remember there was a job going um, when, when, when I was training as a young teacher. There was a job going at Eton College, right? Yes. And yes. I spoke to a dear friend of mine. Uh, you know, a, a, a knighted friend, and I said, um, what do you think about that? And he had a look at it, and he said, I think, to be honest with you, they'll probably be looking for a London-based actor for that. He said, but yeah. he said, um, I don't I don't know um, all the people that he said. I, I, I know a lot of the music people very well, and he was chatting about it, blah, blah, blah. And I said to him, is it a difficult system to break into? And he said, it's a very difficult system to get out of. That is funny, yeah. Now, isn't that very interesting? You know, in, I, I, in, 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 in other words, you know, what sometimes things are seldom what they seem and what might look like a glamorous appointment, you know, might make it difficult to get other jobs afterwards. Absolutely, absolutely, Edward. And you know, I—I I mean, myself, I—I gone into the uh, the haulage business, you know, and I, <laughs> I even though there, there's a lot of money left behind there. And uh, sorry, I'll, I'll call you Edward. I thought, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> it's funny. I've uh, I've uh, too many too many late nights behind me. But, yeah, you're uh, exhausted. Absolutely, you're but, working. But, you're working too hard. But, Oh, Scotty, it's 14, and sometimes it's 14 hours a day, man. So it's, uh, can, I, can I tell you, Edward, I once did a 25-hour day. <laughs> now, you'll not, you think, <laughs> how on earth could you have done that? What I did, I did a show in uh, Yorkshire. I, uh, I walked the dog, and I went to bed, and I got to bed just around 3 in the morning. And uh -huh. uh, I got up at 6 got showered and dressed and went to London for a meeting. At a lunchtime oh, meeting, yeah. I then came back to Sheffield on the train and did an evening show till one the next morning, walked the dog and drove to Glasgow. I forgot you, I forgot you don't stood down in Sheffield there. Uh, Scott, you were down there quite a while. Twice, you? yeah, twice in, in South Yorkshire. Loved every bit of it. Aye, uh, well, you see, there's a... Uh, I remember you lived over in Salford as well, didn't you? you yeah, that way. lived lived over in Salford, lovely. Yeah, lived in uh, yeah, Ellesmere right. Park. There's a fella, there's a fella from over on the Isle of Man there who he would, uh, he pretty much owns all of Salford at the minute, and uh, amazing. He was, uh, I, 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 I know his son, and uh, he was sort of in the same situation as me when your father appeared. It was a guest appearance, you know what I mean, Scotty? So uh, absolutely. Well, remember we talked about uh, about Alan Clark. We did. That's right, Scotty. Yeah. And things like I could, I can give you ten minutes. <laughs> That's 
Right, you have 10 minutes, go. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can give you 10 minutes. Ah, uh, that's right. I, I'm absolutely true. Uh, 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 hey, but you see here, the thing, the thing is, uh, the thing is, uh, Scotty, people understand why, why, where I grew up and then where I went to school, how I maintained my accent, you see, so it's a... Uh, Fantastic. It's a bit of a... Uh, I, I, I was, I was, I was, I was, Archer, you were Adam House there, Scotty, you were in... Uh, Marcher, yeah, I know yeah. exactly where you are. I know it very, very well. That was that was an experience. That's all I'll say. I got boarded there for sure, and that was uh, that was that was. I'll tell you what. Here, here's the thing, Scotty. Well, that that was that was an experience. We'll we'll we'll, we'll leave it. At, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, what, I, what I'll say is, while I sign off here, Scotty is here. Tell you what. Uh, anybody who's listening here tonight. Anybody can make a success of themselves, right? Anybody, every, any single person from any walk of life. As long as you've got determination and the will to do well, yeah. you will do well. But yeah. here's here's the problem. You see, when money becomes your God, that's when, you, that's when you're in problems. Edward, when you're when talking you're... my language. I spoke to a guy one day and I said, you seem to be very keen on money. He went, money is my God. And I said, well, it's ah. not. I said, it's not mine. Well, ah, well, a good old friend of mine over in the States would say, Scotty, uh, you can't take it behind you in a U-Haul when you go, can you? So, you, uh, you, you sit and see the uh, number of very, very wealthy people I know. They're the richest people yeah. in the cemetery. They are. They are. <laughs> That's true. That's you know, true. and, and, and uh, you know, people, you know, oh, yes, oh, yes, he was, he was a multimillionaire. He was this, he was that. And I would think, and I think, I'm not, to, and what I love, I won't mention the name, but somebody told me that, uh, you know, they'd had lunch with this guy who, who's probably probably one of the, when I say richest, I use the term very carefully because I think I'm the richest man in the world, but I just don't have any money. You know, I, I just don't have any money. I tell people that. People say, are you, are you minted, Scott? You must, I say, I'm the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. And uh, you know, it, Scotty, hey, you know yeah, sorry. and, uh, and you know, I was about, go on, Edward. So what I was about to say just before I go here, you know, I'll, uh, I don't, I'm not going to say who, who uh, there's people maybe on the internet who not know who my family are, what the what the situation is, but what I'll say is, knowledge is wealth. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is wealth. Knowledge is power. Wanna, I remember sitting at a dinner. And it was, uh, there was a couple, and she was very senior in her field, and he was very senior in uh -huh. his field. And he and I had had the uh -huh. most fantastic dinner together, chat, chat, chatty chat. Anyway, uh -huh. um, the wife and I got chatting, and we got swapping a few names, chat, chat, chat. Not name dropping, just swapping a few names. And I said uh -huh. to her, I said, I think I know your family, and I was mentioning people. And then she turns to her husband, and she says, darling, this man knows everyone. And he said, I uh, know. I was sitting beside him at dinner. <laughs> I, I, well, so my, mother, my mother used to be sort of uh, half well. She would say, you know, we're at a, we're at a nice uh, meal and who's who and he was there. You know, so what <laughs> yeah, hey, see, can I tell you, Edward, people would come up to me when I was doing public engagements. And they would say, Scotty, uh -huh. could you meet so and so? I say, who's that? They say, is the managing director of such and such? And I would say, now, why would I want to meet him? And why would he want to meet me? I said, uh -huh. because I'm never going to see him again. Is he a That's nice right. guy? Because yeah. you get to the stage, as you well know, Edward, you'd rather just hang about with genuinely nice people. That's absolutely correct. You see, you know yourself, Scotty. When I was when I was growing up, I I I, I was introduced to a lot of every a day. lot of people. You meet the lot. But the thing is, though, these people who I met were not very nice people. All their all like I say, Scotty. All, money was their god. Money is their god, and once you've done that, you've gone down the wrong road, and that's your basic right with the world, Edward. Uh, That's your basic gripe with the world is that you have followed your own path, and that well, is you, outstanding. Let me tell you a quick story before I go, Scotty. 
when we were when I was at Bally Gad, Bally Edmund as a kid, there was a few Ross Trevor just down the road a wee bit. And mm. uh, there was there was there was a few houses up on a nice big hill there and the very top house on the hill there was a building constructor and uh, he was quite a wealthy man, you know, and all that business. And I I bumped I bumped into him one day. I'd not long past my driving test, I bumped into him. And uh, <laughs> he says to me, Uh, you all right there? I said, Not too bad, thanks. You're, he says, you're, you're hockey's young lad, aren't you? I says, I am. I am indeed. He says, tell me this, he says. He says, tell me. He says, have you got a minute? I says, I've got as many minutes as God gives me. <laughs> he says, well, he says, can I look at a child with you? He says, he can't. He says, what is it that drives your eye, fella? What, what gets him going? What's, what, what is this? What does this get up and go? I says, well, to be honest with you, my friend, I says, I really don't know because he doesn't tell me. He doesn't tell me. I says, there's there must be something there because I said Oh, we've lost him. There we are. We lost you, Edward. Give us a call back. Yep, absolutely, and we can finish our call. So there we are. Uh technology for you guys. Hello, we lost you, Edward. You did lose me, Scotty. Just a real quick. I'll just for real quick about this. No, go on, go on. No names, no petrol, though. Right. This fella, this fella he, he had a helicopter and all that business, and he lived at the very top of the hill. He was a big construction boss. And he said to me, what gets your old man? What gets your, what gets your old fella driving in the mornings? I said, I don't know. I said, he's never told me. I don't know the secret. All I know is that uh, that Norbrook was, was his baby, and that's all I know. And uh, I says to be honest, he says you're bound to know more than that, young hockey. I says yeah. I don't. I says I know nothing more about it. Good for you. Says, yeah, I says he calls me nothing, and I know nothing. <laughs> I says I know nothing. I want to know nothing. At the end of the day, uh, you know, I'll, you can only wear one. You can only wear one pinstripe suit at a time. Scott. Do you know that was my father? My father used to say you can only wear one suit. And my father was an army man. He was a para, and the wardrobe was as neat as anything. There was something like, oh, I don't know, maybe about half a dozen outfits, including his kilt. Uh -huh. And that yeah, was, right. that was, and he looked absolutely immaculate. I bet he did, buddy, yeah. You I'll know. Be, I'll tell you, I've been, I went a few, as a young lad, like, you know, sort of a teenager, we were a few engagements up in Scotland, and I had to wear a kilt. And uh, I kept saying, oh, I rebelled against it. Something was all terrible. My mother used to say, oh, you look, you're looking smart, young man. Like, you're looking smart, you're looking smart. So I'm all looking smart, mum, I'm born a dress. <laughs> you know, so it's, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, oh, sure, Scotty, listen, we could, we, could, listen uh, we could talk all night. We could talk all night. Now, listen, Edward, what, what, what I was going to say to you, you should have said to him when he said, what keeps your old man going? You should have said, my love. Yes, I'll, my, my, I, 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 you know, I, he knew, he knew, he knew, I loved him. He knew that. Never, he knew that, but I didn't feel it back much. No, well, he, he wasn't that generation. He wasn't sure how to respond. Listen, have I got this right? And you don't need to, to, to answer this. You don't want to. Was your uncle the man? You've done your homework, Scotty. Well, am I right, though? Was your uncle the man? Yes. Yes, he was. Excellent. Was. Yes, indeed. Good for you. That's fine. No, no, that's fine. No, no. I guess. Oh, oh I do my homework, you know. Well, Scotty, listen. I'll tell you what. I can fix it for you. If you, if you ever want to come down to Bally Edmund, you're welcome anytime. Anytime. That, yeah, that's a very lovely thing to say, Edward, and it's very, very much appreciated. Well, you know, there's a jelly there down at uh, Corning for Loch, and you could, uh, if you come in, then you'd be, you'd be more than welcome. Oh, you'd be more than welcome. What a wonderful man. Bless you, Edward. But listen, it's such a joy because I felt the last night we spoke, I thought that yes. you'd, you'd gone away thinking, was that it, you know? And it's never it. Well, do you want me to tell you, Scotty? There's always more. There's nobody, there's nobody exempt from, from feeling down, Scotty. Absolutely. Nobody. You know, uh, listen, 
People want to know who I am. There's no many of that Edward, and I don't know why I've mentioned, and I, I don't know what I've said. It but doesn't but matter. The fact is, Edward, funny. the most important person here is your good self, and that's what matters. The rest is the rest is trimmings, Edward. Spotty, you can have one or eight or nine or ten or twelve zeros in your bank account, but listen, depression's not not depression's not example. No. I remember when I was a young man, I was going round with a friend of mine who had a, a, a small business delivering fuel. And he came out of this stunningly beautiful country house in Perthshire. And ah. uh, I said, what a gorgeous looking house that is. I said, look at the architecture, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm interested in everything, as you know. And uh, yeah. he said to me, yeah, he said, I've just been in to say, he said, nice old guy. He said, um, I said, How, how's he doing? What's he like? He went, well, he's, he's very depressed at the moment. And I said to him, how can you stay there and be depressed? You know, and, yeah. you know, well, I, as you know yourself, you don't have control over these things. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, Scotty. You well, don't? you know, yeah, it's just, you see, uh, depression doesn't, doesn't occur. But depression, depression doesn't have specific victims. Nope. No, nope. and sometimes it can just come across people. And uh, I've seen it. I remember a girl, she used to just sit and stare at the fire. Oh, yes, I've seen it. I've, like, Scotty, since my father's gone, my mother, my mother's just up the left. You know, she's, as I said, she's had the top psychiatrist, psychologist. And, yeah. uh, well, well and don't, don't worry about getting into that, Edward, but we send her strength and we send uh -huh. strength to you. I appreciate that, Scotty. I appreciate that. I really you know, um, just before there's a song, but Shorty, well, I mean, I've always, I've always had an interest in uh, in church and that, and uh, I, I was, it was brought up. Well, I was, I was brought up in a, a Roman Catholic family, and uh, but I came away from that, Scotty. I, I left religion because religion starts wars, in my opinion, Scotty. Religion, no, religion does Edward, wars. religion has never, ever, 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 ever caused a problem. What causes the problem? What causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. Hey, 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 Scotty, you can squeeze box out there. I'm getting this out for you because I'm gonna I'm gonna play you a tune. Are you ready? Go for it, my man. Right, go here we go. This is for you. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Yes, I do. Well, there's a wee village just a wee bit up from that called Anna Long. And on Anna Long, there's a wee accordion band and they call it Brunswick Accordion. And they're actually the best accordion band in Ireland. They're fabulous. Fantastic. If you ever get a bit of time, Scotty, I'll, perhaps I'll speak to you off, off the radio show at some point. But listen, Scotty, uh, this wee band from uh, Anna Long called Brunswick Accordion, they're absolutely fabulous. They're the best accordion band in Ireland. I'd argue they're the best in Europe, you know. And, uh, and so I just read that someone wrote on the someone wrote on the the the, uh, the YouTube there. A lady called Suzanne wrote, "Depression doesn't discriminate." Absolutely. You see that, you see that? because.
sometimes you like people discriminate, but there's one thing that doesn't. It's a horrible D word, and that's depression. Depression doesn't discriminate. But the thing you got to remember is, because depression doesn't discriminate, well, we can we can discriminate depression. You know, so uh, when person tries to, to get on to us, that doesn't discriminate against us. So we should be just we should just be sort of ruthless back to it and saying, you know, you're not having me. No, 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 no. You're not having me because I'm a strong person. I know where I come from and I know I know where I'm going and I know how I'm going to get there and you're not going to stand it. Oh, there we are. We've lost Ed Rodeo. Maybe Rick is back. I was just going to give him the chat. Hello, Edward. Scotty, I don't know what's going on here. I'm, I'm actually on my holiday home in the minute. But listen, uh, depression doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter whether you're wearing a peak cap and a dinky new, uh, dinky new badge or whether you're sitting down in Buckingham Palace, or whether you're in 10 Downing Street, or whether you're up in wherever, it doesn't, the depression doesn't discriminate. You see depression, depression's a word, it doesn't discriminate, but you see what? That word depression, that's what it is, is a word. That's a word. Depression. Oh, you're feeling a wee bit depressed, are you? I am actually. In fact, I am a feeling a wee bit. Well, uh, Edward, can I tell you? Oh, ring us back. Come on, Edward. There we are. Ring us back. We've got some lots of feedback for you here. So there you go. Fantastic stuff. And Mario Donald says, are you going out guising on Sunday, Scotty? Here's Edward. Ah, wonderful, Edward. Well done. I'm already sorry, Scotty. I'm really, really sorry. I'm up in, up in Cumbria. No, don't you worry about that. Wait till I tell you this. The feedback on oh, here, they're loving it. Fantastic. What a great well, guy. Okay. Elise, Elise in the north of England says, what a great guy. Susan says, we need another hour. So there we are. The stream's well, ended on buddy, TikTok. I, if you knew, if you, knew the, if you knew my old man, he could talk. He could talk. But well, what I will say is, uh, Scotty, anybody who's, uh, who's listening to the show tonight, anybody who's suffering depression or grievance or, you know, Anybody who's grieving a loved one or depressed because of a, a certain situation they find themselves in, anybody who's perhaps going through addiction, anybody who's just not feeling right whatsoever, you know, go to bed tonight, get a good night's sleep, waking up in the morning, right? I've just set out your goals. What do you want to do tomorrow? So, you know, uh, 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 it's just, what I, I said in the morning, oh man, I'm lost again. I'm not. No, you're with us. Me. I'm with you, Scotty. You're with us? What I was saying, Scotty, anybody who's listening to this show tonight, listen, and you're suffering depression, grievance, maybe even people are suffering or suffering addiction or whatever, whatever the case may be, get up in the morning, put your smile on first and foremost, and thank your God. I thank my God, whoever your God may be, thank him. If it's Mother Earth, thank Mother Earth. But when you get up in the morning, it's a new day. Start afresh. How fabulous. Give it a new go, give it a new go, Scotty, because depression may be, it may not be discriminate, it may not discriminate, but we have a choice whether we want to accept it or not, Scotty. Yeah. That's my opinion. Absolutely. Listen, brilliant. You're talking my language, Edward. Well, yes. And, uh, you know, Scotty, you and I could sit here talking to midnight. We could. And, uh, Absolutely. My, my my wife's just come in here, and I guess it's time, maybe, uh, maybe she's telling me it's time to get she's, off. She's come in, and she thinks, who on earth are you talking to? Uh, she knows who you are, Scotty. And you can she just say to her, that. just an old friend. What about this yeah, one, indeed, from Murray O'Donnell? Great call from a very interesting man. Murray O'Donnell. Okay, Murray, God bless you. Murray, 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 Murray O'Donnell. And Murray, then Murray. Alice from the north of England says... Edward should be Scotty's angel. <laughs> Wonderful man. Great show, says Elise. Depression doesn't discriminate, Scotty. And who else have we got? Yeah, we've got wonderful feedback, Edward. So everybody has thoroughly enjoyed your show tonight. Sorry, it's enjoyed our show. Our show, Scotty. Well, listen, everybody who's, who's, uh, who's uh, posted on the YouTube or the Twitter or whatever it is, Listen, guys, tomorrow's a new day. Waking up, and uh, even if you feel rubbish, just waking up and thank whoever you want to thank for that new day. Put your smile on. 
get get to the bathroom, get a shower, get up and get at it. Get yeah. at it. Isn't that wonderful? Listen yeah. to this, Edward. Love to Edward and his family, says Elise. And I more really power to you, Edward, says yeah. Murray. I really appreciate that, guys. And listen, uh, you know, you guys are you guys type in here, you're 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 the champions. You're champions. Because uh you're the guys that are that are that are that are actually engaging with Scotty here and it's making it's making this an absolute success and it's entertainment as well. It's informative, it's entertainment, it's humor, and also, you know, there's serious things to be talking about here. It's not you know, well I mean Scotty and uh but yeah, it's uh, you guys are amazing. Get up in the morning, get your best your get, get, be, be the best listen, there's only one person within you and that's you and be the best version of you. Yeah. I That's say to I people, think. love being you, because it's a great thing to be. And then, Scotty, be the best representative of Scotty McClure, of Edward, you know, of Edward Hockey, of anybody. Edward is, is an amazing man, says Susan. And Suzanne well, says we all need an Edward in our life. We, well, we, we, we all need something in our life. I don't know if it's an Edward or not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Like it or not, Ed. That's it. <laughs> We all, we all need an Edward in our life. You're a gentleman and a scholar, Scotty. And you, you are an absolute gentleman and a scholar, sir. And I salute you and I thank oh. you for coming on. I'm so glad you oh. did because I thought about our call and I thought, I hope Edward comes back sometime. I'll be back many times, Scotty. Elise yeah. says, I hope that Edward reads all these messages. God bless you. So have have a God look at the you. old YouTube chat, Edward. I will do, Scotty. I will. And uh, what you know, what I'm about to do now, Scotty. I'm about to go and sit behind my my UHF radio and see if I can get any contacts into the United States of America, my friends. Wow. Right. Yeah. Well, well, tell them, tell them that we'll uh, tell them that we'll do them a show. We'll do them a show. Say that you oh, know. That's... Say that you know the first lord of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you, sir. Just before I go, Scotty, I cannot wait to see the curvature of the Earth, Scotty. The curvature of the Earth. Now, listen, as soon as you get back from space, you better give us a ring. Oh, I'll be the first person to ring, Scotty. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. That's what it's about. Well, There's yeah. Martin. Edward is a great guy. A wee step at a time, Edward. Small goals, big gains. Well, you see, that's the thing. That's the thing, Scotty. My, I have a mentor named Scott, and Scott tells me, he tells me that uh, he says, just ima just imagine yourself standing at the foot of Donard, and you're looking up at Donard. Donard's a big mountain. It's the biggest mountain, isn't it, in, uh, in Ireland? Absolutely, you're Donard. Or Ben Nevis or Snowden, wherever you may be. Yeah. You're standing at the bottom. You're looking up, and you're thinking, oh, boy. Oh, this is tough. And then... Take a few steps, few steps, few steps, and you stop for maybe to get a breather. You look behind you, Scotty, and you think to yourself, my goodness, I've come a fair way there, haven't I? Have you? you yes, and, yes. You know, and then you take a few more steps, and a few more steps, and you come on, come on, come on, come on. And you get, and you stop again, and you look behind you, Scotty, and you're twice the distance you were when you first looked. Absolutely. And it's amazing. Yeah. I've been I've been amazed. I've, any time I've gone up a mountain, I've looked behind. I thought I can't have climbed all of that already. Exactly, Scotty. Small steps. Small steps. Small yeah. steps. Uh, How yeah. wonderful! And, I mean, those those small steps. Every single small step you take equates a uh, big big step. So, you know. And, uh, hey, Scotty. I'll tell you what, though. I I had a friend. I had a very good friend. And uh, he, he was in a bad place, Scotty. Have I lost you? What's going no, on? No, no, we're Scotty? with you. We're with you. No, I ha I'll just, I'm just going to end on this, Scotty. I had a very good friend. He was in a very, very bad place, a very dark place. I'm sure that's a suicidal place. And uh, he, he spoke to me one night, and he was talking about what he had intentions of doing. And I said to him, look, listen, that is a permanent solution to a short-term problem. But what you're what you're what you're talking about is a permanent solution to a short-term problem. 
I says, get with me tomorrow morning and we'll go for a run. And uh, he got with me. We ran a bit. He was oh, kind of like behind, Scotty. Uh, about three years later, he completed the Belfast mar- Marathon. He completed the Dublin Marathon, the Edinburgh Marathon, the London Marathon. You know, that's... It's all in the mind, Scotty. It's all in the mind. Incredible. Edward, I have to tell you, my joke's been spoiled nowadays because they renamed the Marathon Bar Snickers. And That's a disappointment. Scotty, I was a big disappointment in my youth. <laughs> in the youth. And I remember somebody from, said, uh, they wanted me to do something for charity. They said, Scotty, do you think you could do a half marathon? I said, I think I could eat the whole bar. Monday. <laughs> there will be three of them. Yeah. It's great. Murray says it's good to talk, and Elise sends you a big heart. Big heart back to Elise. And That's here's right. a lovely guy, a folk singer of down south, Neil O'Gormley. Tried to call, but accidentally called my daughter instead. My goodness. <laughs> well, Scotty, listen. Well, I'm just going to. Uh, yeah, oh, I, 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 I could talk to you all night. Edward, you've just been fantastic tonight. What a privilege. And uh, we, yeah. we've loved your stories. And obviously, hey, uh, you know, I don't I don't like to put you on the spot, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. But, but it's just lovely to hear from you. And thank you so much for yeah. calling in. You're quite welcome, Scotty. And just before I go, I will say, I'm not all... I'm sometimes, sometimes I'm ears. Sometimes I'm just all ears and I don't speak. I just listen. Abs- I've listened to a few. Yeah. Absolutely. I've a few. Yeah, I've said nothing. I've kept quiet. I've listened. And Kareem, Kareem is a wealth of knowledge. Oh, he's a great guy. Kareem is a wealth of knowledge. That yeah. fella, that fella, I'm not sure of the situation, but up, up, up here upstairs, that fella is very wealthy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, and that's the only true wealth. You know, I used I used to stay at this old hall at a cottage yeah. at the old hall, and um, yeah. I can remember there was a bench, and it said, "The only true wealth is life." That's correct, buddy. That's correct. And I, I think I used to also say, she also used to say, "Your health is your wealth." Your health is your wealth. I remember Dave Allen yeah. saying, "He said one of the things about." Uh, life in Ireland is death. He said, and when you lay somebody out and you go to the wake, he said, everybody gets themselves a drink and goes round to the body and says, to your health now. That's right, buddy. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah, health is wealth. Health really is wealth. Health yeah. is wealth. That's and health is wealth. Oh, There's Suzanne telling you. Edward, oh, what a joy. I'll say good night and God bless you, sir. Scotty, it's been a privilege. It's been a privilege for it's been a privilege for all of us to hear you tonight, Edward. Bless you. Well, I, I just, uh, I just like listen, every everybody that's listening here, just just look after yourselves. And 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 we're we'll have a catch up soon. We will, Scotty. We're living in a time now where sometimes day to day is is kind of unknown with this with this virus. But guys, keep safe. Look after yourselves. Look after your minds. And stay healthy. And you stay fabulous, Edward. Dinky do la. I love you, my man. I'll talk to you soon. Love you to bits, mate. Night, night. God bless. God bless, guys. God bless, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Lovely man. Right, there we are. That's our Edward. And we stayed on because it was just such an amazing call. Lovely, lovely guy. Absolutely. Exactly, Edward. I love a wee to-do list, says the wonderful Murray O'Donnell. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, We had to lose our beautiful TikTokers halfway through. God bless you, Edward, says Elise. So there we are. Lovely, lovely guy, says Suzanne. Uh, What can I say? Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Our next phone-in is at 9 o'clock tomorrow night, Wednesday night, 9 o'clock. Uh, God willing, weather permitting, GWWP, then uh, Thursday night, 9 o'clock, and then Friday night, 10 o'clock, Saturday night, 10 o'clock. Big thanks to Edward for his call at the end there. Thanks to Kareem. Thanks to everybody, to Glenn for his wonderful calls, and uh, to everybody who's called in tonight, to Thomas from Glasgow, 
Tremendous stuff. Very much appreciated. From me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you, have a gorgeous night. Take great care of your dear selves. We'll take one more call. Here we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Ah, maybe it's our non-verbal caller. Dinky-doo, good night, God bless, and ta-ra-las. <laughs>